In part one, we are used to the graph that the horizontal axis is x and the vertical axis is i. We are used to draw the curve in the plane. In previous lecture of this semester, we are customer to the graph that the horizontal axis is time and the vertical axis is a certain branch variable and draw the waveform of the branch variable. In the following lectures of this semester, you will get used to the graph that the horizontal axis is frequency and the vertical axis is a certain variable changing with frequency. The process of learning circuit is a circuit is a process of learning the three graphs. In this lecture, we will introduce the frequency characteristics of three situations. The first is a frequency characteristic of port impedance or admittance. You see, it's a inductive reactance whose definition is we can draw the curve of the inducted, inductive reactance changing with frequency. The horizontal axis is omega and the vertical axis is XL. As can be seen from the expression, it's a straight line increasing linearly with the increase of the frequency. For capacitors, the definition of capacitive reactance is similarly. We can draw the curve of the, of the capacitive reactance changing with the frequency. In order to be expressed in the first quadrant, we draw the absolute value, which is a form of the reciprocal. Next, we show a slightly complicated problem. Seen from the port, it's a form of impedance, that is, its model is like this, and its impedance angle is. For the port impedance, its module and impedance angle are the function of frequency. Next, we discuss the frequency characteristic of response. This is the SS circuit with voltage source resistor and capacitor connected in series. We define the voltage source as an excitation. All branch variables are in the circuit can be responses. We are interested in the current and the voltage of the capacitor. Both are not hard to solve, that is. You can find that the branch variables we are interested in, that is the module and the phase angle of the response, all change with the frequency. The third characteristic, frequency characteristic is about a new concept. When we study the system, the circuit as a system, we have the so-called network function or transfer function, which is a ratio of a certain response over the excitation. We define the ratio as a network function or transfer function of a system. The research method is a common way for single input and single output system, because once you know the transfer function for a new excitation, we can know the response quickly through the excitation times the transfer function. The excitation is the voltage of the source in the problem, and the response is the capacitor's voltage. It's easy to solve by using the voltage division formula of two resistors. You can find that for the problem, the transfer function of the system is also a complex number. The module and the phase angle are also the function of the frequency. So far, we have introduced the port impedance or admittance, the branch variables, and the transfer function under SSS are all complex numbers. Their modules and the phase angle are the function of the frequency or angular frequency in general. The module and the phase angle of the impedance, branch variables, and the transfer function change with the angular frequency. We call the wave frequency characteristics. 
The way amplitude changing with frequency is called amplitude frequency characteristic. The way the, f the phase changing with frequency is called the phase frequency characteristic. Why? Frequency characteristic give us more profound understanding about the circuit or system from a broader pers perspective. You will be familiar with it gradually in the following study.